Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to Tech Time with Mr. Nguyen. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to be learning about variables in Python. Um, so what are variables? Well, before we talk about that, let's take a look at our learning goals for today. Uh, you're going to be able to create a variable, just a basic variable. You're going to be able to output that variable. And you're also going to be able to create an input uh, using a variable. Okay, so let's take a look at what a variable is. Um, a variable is basically a storage container for information or also known as data. As you can see in this picture here, we have a bucket or what seems like a bucket. Uh, and uh, this is kind of an example of a, a variable right here. And we have data that's floating around your computer and it gets put into this bucket so that way the computer could remember this information, all right? So with that being said, a variable helps the computer remember information. So otherwise, information that's just floating around the computer is going nowhere. Uh, the variable serves as uh, a memory slot for the computer to remember information, okay? So how do you create a variable? Well, this is what it looks like to create a variable. You start out with the variable name on the left-hand side, followed by an equal sign, and then followed by the value, which is the data that you're trying to get to the computer to remember, okay? Here's a real example of what that looks like. We have the variable name being color, followed by the equal sign, which is called the assignment operator, uh, followed by blue in quotations, that's the value, okay? Here's another example. Fave num, short for favorite number, um, is the variable name, followed by the equal sign, which is the assignment operator, followed by the number seven, all right? So just a few notes about creating variable and variable names. Uh, you can't have any spaces in the name of your variable. You always have to start out your variable with a letter, not a number. So you could do uh, color one, color two, color three as your variable name, but you can't do one color, two color, three color. All right. All right. So let's get to it and uh, let's create some variables. Let's start doing some coding right now uh, to create some variables. Okay. So here I am, the coding environment on Replit. Um, I am going to uh, create a variable right now. So let's create a variable called color. Color equals uh, blue, like in the example. Now, when I try running it right now, nothing happens. Why is that? Huh? Well, the reason why that is, is because we have not told the computer to output anything. Now, now, if you guys remember from the previous video, okay, we output using the what command? If you said print, you are correct. So we are going to do print. And instead of typing in blue, we're going to type in color. So color is the variable. Notice how when I highlight color here, it goes back to line one. It's uh, this data blue is going to come here to line two and replace color. So let's run it to see what it comes out with. So it's going to display the message blue. Pretty cool, right? Now, if I were to change this into red on line one, now color is not blue anymore, but I just changed the value or the data into red. I run it and it's going to output or print out red. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Uh, so we can change it into some other, uh, other things that you want. So go ahead and give them that, that a try for um, a minute or two to see uh, what you can come up with, all right? Okay, next up, we are going to create a variable and use input, all right? So the way that we do it is typically when we have input, we have input 
what is your name? Okay. So if I run it right now, it's going to say red and it's going to ask what is your name. I can type in Mr. Nguyen um, and that's pretty much it. So when you type in your name on line number three right here, when you run it and you type in your name, Mr. Nguyen or Steve or Mary or Jane, okay, the computer is actually going to forget. It's not going to remember that you've typed in your name. So the way to fix that is to put a variable in front of this. So, of course, we're going to do name in front of the input, followed by the assignment operator, which is the equal sign, uh, equals input, what is your name? Okay. So, again, I'm going to run it, type in my name. Let's say I'm Steve. And that's it. Hey, how come it didn't display Steve? I want it to display Steve. So I'm going to do on line, hit enter right here in line number four. I'm going to print name to see what it comes out with. All right. It's going to say, what is your name? I type in Mary. And then on line number four right here, it's going to print out uh, the name that you just type in Mary. So if I run it again and I change the name into Marie, it's going to print out Marie. And I can do this a bunch of times, and it's going to change depending on um, what you type in. Okay? Pretty cool, right? So that's what a variable is. Remember, you can use a variable as a storage container for information, and what that comes down to is that you're making it so that the computer could remember the information. That's all there is to it, all right? In the next lesson, I'll teach you how to concatenate variables, okay? That's it for today on Tech Time with Mr. Nguyen. I'll catch you guys next time.